Hi everyone, welcome to The Word at One for Wednesday, June 16th. So we're going through fathers this week, looking towards Father's Day. So we looked at the first father, Abraham, or Adam, excuse me, um, Abraham, the father of the Jewish people and also the father of all spiritual descendants who came through Christ. And now we're looking at Solomon. So Solomon's dad was King David, and Solomon uh, was the wisest man on earth. He was going to build the temple. He was wealthy beyond imagining, had everything you can possibly imagine. And he was the father of many, many sons. And in his books that he wrote in scripture, Proverbs and Ecclesiastes, um, he is giving advice to his sons. And the advice that he gives to his son is summed up in the end of Ecclesiastes where he said, of the many books, there is no end. So there's all kind of learning and philosophy and of thinking, of all the thinking, there is no end. But our true end, our true goal, our true focus is to serve God and to obey him. And so that is the call of all fathers. And Solomon didn't do this perfectly. Solomon, unfortunately, was uh, tempted by idol worship because of his many wives from different nations. And so Solomon really struggled with staying on that straight path. But yet we are called as parents, you know, fathers and mothers, and also those who are part of the church, the family of God, and raising up children. You know, we are called to keep them on the path, to share with them the things of God and to keep them obedient and moving forward in terms of how they look at the Lord and in terms of looking at God's love for them because obedience shouldn't just be a negative thing. You know, when Solomon talks to his son about obedience, he's not trying to make it a negative thing that he's kind of, you know, pounding over his head. Um, that obedience is something that brings life. Obedience to God's commands brings life. And Solomon had felt and experienced the consequences of not being obedient and going astray. And so he wanted his son and all of his children to not experience that. And that's the same thing for all of us as parents, that when we talk about obedience and helping our children grow in the knowledge and the faith of God, we want them to do this so that their lives are filled with those good things that God wants to bring as they stay on that path step by step with him. See you all tomorrow.